what's up everybody so I completed my uh, JJ Smith 10 day smoothie cleanse challenge this is the 11th day this is Saturday I have no idea when I'm gonna post this video y'all but before I go out today and start my day and actually put something in my belly it's in the morning and I wanted to show you guys how much I weigh so let me get on the scale Here we go. So as you guys see, I am 225 as I get up on Saturday morning. And when I started this, I was 239. I lost almost 15 pounds. So as what you guys saw, I'm 225. I almost lost 15 pounds. As you guys saw on the scale, I am 225. I started this at 239. I almost lost 15 pounds. That is excellent. That is remarkable. So doing this uh, smoothie challenge really, really works, man. Uh, let me tell you guys something. It was hard. It was a struggle. The first six days was a cakewalk. The seventh day um i was getting like flu type symptoms and that is called a do that is called a detox flu so i had that for one full day on the seventh day the eighth day i was cool uh the ninth day i was good and i had to get a tetanus shot so couldn't do any workout because <laughs> half of my arm was sore so i only was able to work out three days out of the 10 days that i did this detox so I'm going to get back on this grind, get my workout back in, and uh, I'll probably end up doing another detox or something maybe soon, maybe another month from now. I have no idea, but this definitely was an experience. A lot of my cravings were not there, which I was totally happy, but I am ready to eat today, and I don't think I'm going to go back to just full-on eating all the stuff that I was eating, so I'm going to try to take it step by step, take it from there, and see what happens. So this was this was a really really great experience. Um I challenge anybody to try it, you know. But if you're going to try it, I say read the book, get the audio, you know, go down the line on how she specifically tell you how to do it and do it that way. Just don't do it on your own. So about my cleanse everybody on the 7th day, um hi I was doing, um, I won't say bad, but I woke up like at 3.30 in the morning. Oh, by the way, I'm out and about now. And Ron has the air conditioning on in the car and it's only 70 degrees outside. He acts like it's like 112. The humidity, don't like it. Heat, I don't like. And if there's anything doing with me starting to sweat. You don't like. Don't like. <laughs> so we cleared that up. All right. So on my seventh day. Uh, I went through that detox flu, so I was erupt. I woke up coughing and sneezing and and erupting with snot. Oh my God! You guys, so much. So snot. so three thirty in the morning on that seventh day, I woke up and I couldn't breathe. I had to. I had so much mucus. I had to. I used a I, I used a box and a half of tissue, and I don't use that at all. You know, I don't use tissue to blow. Every now and then, I'll have to blow my nose, or you know, I have everybody sneezes. But I mean, it was constant sneezing, constant blowing my nose to so my point where my nose was red. It was starting to get raw. I just couldn't take it no more. And that was the whole seventh day, from 3:30 that morning until I'm gonna say 10, 11 that night. And then when I went to sleep, woke up, I was fine. So that was a little bit of a drag. The eighth day was good. 
Uh, later on, on the eighth day, I started becoming hungry. My body felt like it started wanting actual food. And the ninth day, and that's when the craving started coming more. I told my wife that I had a dream of pastrami with little cheese balls in the middle. <laughs> And uh, I put it in the uh, pan, let it warm up. When the cheese melt, I was rolling them up and I was eating them. <laughs> so on that ninth day and then the tenth day, I just, just tried to keep my mind focused because I felt myself getting a little weak, so I stayed focused. Didn't think about any of that. Did my smoothies. Uh, ate what I was supposed to eat. You know, my fruit, my vegetables, and I had um, some walnuts. And I was pretty much good. I mean, it was a little bit of a challenge. That seventh, eighth, and ninth day was a challenge. And, but I got through it. Today is the 10th day. I did it. If you guys try it, I mean, like I said earlier in this video, if you're going to try it, I recommend reading the book, get the audio book, get something instead of just trying it on your own. And then when you get more familiar with what the book or she wants you to do, then you know you can take it from there but put the link in your thing again for the book uh, okay i will mm -hmm. um but it was good i i i said i lost almost 15 pounds but i think it was 15 pounds that i lost it was two i started at 239 and i was 225 exact 225 exact so if you know that's actually 14 pounds but i enjoyed it 225 your boy has been 240 for a long time and i actually feel the difference i feel the difference at 225 i really do and i was talking to my wife before we started the video and i said i think i'm just gonna just do one meal a day one really good meal a day and then throughout the day it's gonna be my vegetables my fruit um some type of walnuts or pecans or stuff like try to get more involved in that instead of junk food i do believe i will still eat occasionally some junk food just not like how i was going at it before so just being honest with y'all i still will i still will eat junk food just not as much as i will but my meals will be consist of you know some because i don't want to gain the weight back and what my wife was telling me within the first week coming off the cleanse you can gain that way back easily yeah people have been gaining about um, half of the weight back um, because you're losing a lot of water weight uh, during the fast but Ron drinks so much water he doesn't he's not retain probably not retaining a lot of water anyway so I think that he'll do good if anything he'll probably I'm thinking no more than five pounds he'll gain back but I think that if he continues to eat the way he's eating, still have like maybe a smoothie for breakfast and have fruits and vegetables throughout the day and then a solid meal at night or however he wants to do that. I think that he has a good chance of maintaining that. So here's my plan. So I'm done with that. My plan, consistent plan, is one meal a day, whether, you know, I don't know if I'm going back to eating burgers and all that stuff. I haven't thought about that yet, being that I haven't had any any i haven't had any chicken or beef or pork or anything for the last 10 years so i'm going to be consistent with one meal a day and i'm gonna think it out really well on how I'm, well you said you haven't had it in 10 years i said 10 days right years oh i'm sorry <laughs> 10 days my apologies so 10 days i haven't had any meat so i'm gonna think out really well on how i want to eat the food that i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna consist of one meal a day a really nice portion whether that's morning lunch or dinner whatever I choose and then when I wake up that morning it's gonna be one meal a day and I'm making sure I have my fruit I'm making sure I have my vegetables every single day and I'm making sure I'm having some type of either walnuts or pecans or <coughs> or whatever at the time my wife decides to bring or I go get or we go get together and I'll eat those and be consistent of and whatever crazy fruits that I try or whatever which if I eat a crazy fruit I'll try to record it like that dragon fruit oh my god that's nasty but, uh, that's good in smoothies though thanks for watching y'all um, my journey is over. I'm done no, with this. I'm done with that 10 day. My, my journey is over as far as the 10 day cleanse smoothie. Done. That journey is done. On to the next. Would you do it again? And I would do it again. Yeah. I would. No time soon. Six months from now, something like that. But no time soon. 
So appreciate you guys for watching because I was, you know, rambling. But I just wanted to get it all out there. And uh, if I forgot anything, just put it in the comments below and I'll answer it. Thanks for watching. We appreciate y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.